Good morning, Facebook. I'm down here with Fox 45 and Baltimore City Police Department. Hobo Joe today. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> This is Elijah Westbrook, and this is Fox 45, so we don't have no misunderstandings. That's Fox 45 News, all right? Uh, talk about Tiger King. Need to bring a lunch. Ah. Uh. He gonna love this. Yeah. Take a look in the mirror. Take a look in the mirror. We're gonna see about justice and injustice because it ain't gonna be just us. This is for Governor Hogan. Cause Fox 45, I was making a movie about Governor Hogan. All right. Putting all my little toys out here so we see all this. All right. Uh, that's my rat, that's Justice, and that's Hogan. Yeah, all right. On February the 2nd, 2011, I applied for Martin Luther King's job. Our black leadership is dying, and we ain't got no more Martins, we ain't got no more Malcolms, we ain't got no more John Lewises. We ain't got no more mega evers. So I chose to take his job. This ain't my fight, this is our struggle. We've been black in America for 400 years and we treat it like shit. So I'm gonna treat y'all the same way that you treat us. I'm selling toilet paper. I'm selling toilet paper, all right? We're gonna talk about the war on drugs, mass incarceration in your prison industry. Cause when you go to jail, they give you a roll of toilet paper, a bed spread, you know what I'm saying? It's part of your indo indoctrination. You feel me? Now since the elections, you ain't heard shit from Theroux. And Fox 45 ain't trying to get out the truck to do their live feeds this morning. You feel me? Witnesses speak about Tyrone West. He was murdered by Baltimore City Police Department. And Governor Hogan... And Governor Hogan has the person that murdered that man is working for Governor Hogan in, in the state capitol. This is the Constitution. You feel me? This is the Constitution. And the First Amendment says I got a freedom of speech. The Fifth Amendment say you're supposed to compensate me for my property that you took. Private property was taken. And that private property was about Fox 45. It was about Stephen Janice. It was about how y'all demonize black people with your media and your media station. You feel me? Officer! Officer! <laughs> like I said, they ain't going to do no live feed as long as I'm out here. They ain't gonna do no live feed as long as I'm out here. You feel me? They gonna put the camera up. But I'm right here in the police station. I want a grand jury. I want to testify in front of the grand jury, the House Judiciary Committee, about mass incarceration in the prison industry. I want to testify about policing in Baltimore. And I got 13 years of policing on film. I got 2010 when the Baltimore City Police Department came in my house. Lieutenant Commander Russell will tell you about it because we talked about it right up there. We talked about it. 
Lieutenant Commander Russell was in the room, Hyatt was in the room, Bats was in the room, Davis was in the room, Harrison know about it. Y'all got a, 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 a jump out squad. Yeah, y'all still got y'all's jump out boys and they work for the politicians. I can wait here as long as you want. Like I said, live feeds. I'm working with NBC today. Jane Miller, Barry Sims, the I team. Man, y'all work for white supremacy. Y'all work to demonize black people. Like I said, I got patience. I'm a patient person. Just like Tiger King, I'm ready to make this go to Hollywood. This all about you, bud. It's all about Scott Schellenberger. And how y'all, yeah, it's the art of protest. All right here. Right here with Fox 45. Fox 45 ain't gonna tell you this. But if you took it, a look at justice, take a look at the man in the mirror. Cause I'm ratting y'all out. That's President Trump. This is my political soapbox. And y'all voted for this shit. Y'all want this shit. Well, I want to access the grand jury. I want to talk about the 13th Amendment. I want to talk about slavery reinvented. And then I'm going to show you how Fox 45 been doing it for the longest. Nothing but Fox. Early this morning, I don't hear him coming out here. I don't see him rare talking about Mosby now. Now the subject of Marilyn Mosby, Marilyn Mosby been shielding the corruption since 2014. I gave Marilyn Mosby the information to expose Scott Schellenberger, Greg Bernstein, and I helped her get elected in 2014. I also ran for office in 2014 against Governor Hogan. I was a black radical Republican. You feel me? A black radical Republican. Police out here now. I don't know what they're going to do, but I don't give a fuck. I ain't scared of the police. I ain't did nothing wrong. Harrison did something wrong. You're going to be looking for a job, dog. Harrison been shielding the, the corruption here since he came here. I gave Harrison a, a brown envelope exposing the corruption here in Baltimore, and he still got it. He accepted it, and he ain't did nothing about it. You feel me? At all. How you doing, officer? Would you like to have a conversation? Can I talk to you about the war on drugs? But you ain't doing nothing right now. You good? You good in the hood? But you ain't doing nothing and that's good? All we wanna do is talk. How about this? I'll talk and you listen, all right? You can cut your body camera on if you want. And they can't really see you. But we're talking about the violence in Baltimore. And the root of the violence is the war on drugs. If you ended the war on drugs, a lot of this violence would stop. But I know that you ain't gonna comment on that. Because as long as they got violence going on, you got a job. Do you know that the, the Baltimore City Police Department was in, was uh, came into conception in 1784? Did you know that? Baltimore City Police Department became in existence in 1784. They were slave catching in 1784 and y'all slave catching in 2020. Y'all doing the same thing that they was doing 200 years ago right now. These barriers is up to keep us out, to protect y'all from what? Cause ain't nothing going on. Like I said, they ain't gonna do their live. Y'all getting ready to do your live feed? Five minutes. All right, five minutes y'all got live feed. Auto search, you looking for a car? <laughs> Now, like I said, Fox 45, like I said, this ain't personal. It's strictly business, right? I know you can't comment because you want to keep your job. 
But like I said, the war on drugs, Fox 45 been feeding this, been what, stirring the pot for the longest. So in fair exchange, y'all need to deal with this. Address the war on drugs is the root of the violence in Baltimore. If not, you keep dealing with my shit. The war on drugs came into existence in 1986. That was Quasi and Fumi and Bill Clinton trying to make America safe. Now we got him here and he's trying to make America great. And they both doing the same thing. They incarcerating black Baltimore. They incarcerating black America. So right here, seeing the police don't want to talk. Fox don't want to talk. So they can listen. I got a lot to say. All right, let's talk about Marilyn Mosby and the corruption with Marilyn Mosby. Um, I hope she go to jail. Because if she go to jail, she's going to snitch. Marilyn Mosley learned how to steal from uh, the Democratic Party. They taught her how to do it. If you look at her, her businesses, they set up the same way that Mayor Pugh set up her businesses. They set up the same way that uh, Stephanie Rollins Blake set up her businesses. They set up the same way that Dixon set up their businesses. Governor O'Malley told them how to set them businesses up. And Governor O'Malley put them in business. If you look at all of their businesses, their client list is the same too. They so comfortable in their corruption, they don't even change up their shit. You feel me? Now, officer over there standing underneath the tree, he don't want to talk to me, but he busy and ain't got nothing to do. He getting paid over $20 an hour to stand there with his hands in his fucking pockets to do shit. You know what I'm saying? He getting paid to sit over there with his hands in his pockets to do nothing. To do nothing. And that's policing in Baltimore. No, like I said, I ain't stopping y'all. I want y'all to run the story. I want y'all to run the story so I can give my, 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 my contribution to the cause. You feel me? Because this ain't going to be one-sided media. And that's what it's been in Baltimore. Nobody never challenges y'all. I'm going to challenge you. I'm going to hold y'all accountable. When they go live, I'm going to sit back and watch. Then I'm going to let them do what they do. I'm a mic check. You're going to hear a mic check. But I'm going to let them do what they do. Because I got more time than they got dirty money. We're going to talk about Sinclair Broadcasting too. Because they got a vested interest in this corruption. David Smith's son got 14 restaurants down at Fells Point, Canton and in the harbor. He got 14 restaurants. So he got a vested interest in this. He want President Trump to come down here and put the uh, National Guard here. But that ain't going to stop the, the, what's going on here. We're going to shut you down if the National Guard here or not. People over power. Because the people are the power. And y'all need to understand that. So as soon as y'all go live, I'm going I'm to concede my time to Fox 45. And then I'm going to go live. After they go live. And we're going to be live together. Like I said. I'm going to rat y'all out. Like my rat. <laughs> rat it to me. He hates rats. Elijah hates rats. Hey, when y'all cut your camera on, keep it rolling afterwards so y'all can hear what I got to say. Keep your camera rolling. I want to make sure y'all don't miss this. Johnny Oleski, you took pictures with uh, John Lewis, but you permitting Scott Schellenberger to run this criminal enterprise of racism in Baltimore County? That's exploiting black tragedies. You don't care about civil rights. You don't care about black people's rights if you still supporting Scott Schellenberger. That's white supremacy with a suit and tie. That's the Ku Klux Klan sitting in the seats. Bobby Zirkin, Scott Schellenberger. Yeah. I'm calling y'all out because I'm still standing. Y'all charged me with terrorism. Y'all said I was a terrorist. I'm an activist and I'm a cook and I'm getting ready to cook you up. He who stirs the pot must lick the spoon. Y'all stirred the pot and I'm the cook. I got a whole pot of gumbo for your ass. Hot, hot, hot. Come on, Elijah. We waiting for you. We still 
Six minutes, Dougie Fresh, you on? Six more minutes. My check! Six minutes. Don't miss it.